Welcome back, everybody. Okay. Well, I've got everything put away. And we're now headed down to the shop to uh, see what kind of deal that they're going to try to work out for us. Decided to get the old pickup out and drive it down. Haven't drove it in a while. And, uh, yeah, just for a quick trip down to the shop and back. Seemed like a pretty good idea. Uh, like I said, it hasn't been out on the road. Kind of needs to be. So, anyway. I'm not sure what we're getting into. Um, <laughs> to be kind of honest, I'm uh, almost a little worried. I'm just hoping that it's something that's going to be worth our time looking at. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure if they're wanting the Kubota back, the Kubota is pretty expensive. It's not super cool. Water is way up. Look at that. Ooh, we could be in for a flood. Uh, that could be bad. Anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, I just got really distracted by that. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I hope it's something worth looking at. And, um, yeah, we'll just have to see what it is. So, oh, they've got a lot of stuff changed here, it looks like. We'll just pull up here and uh, go inside and talk to him real quick. Hey everybody. Well, if you notice, um, battery went dead and um, yeah. I lost a whole bunch of footage that I thought I was getting of us getting our new tractor and combine for the switch out. Well, we did go ahead and switch out and I'm going to kind of obscure the combine for a moment because you're going to be surprised because I certainly was. But we have a 7810 again. Uh, a little different than the other one that we had. This one has a tuner kit in it. It has got way more power to it than the one that we did have. Um, seems to be, I mean, from driving it up here, seems to be like this would be a good tractor for us. It's only 10 horsepower less than the tractor we have over there, our uh, New Holland. Now, for the combine. Well... You'll never believe it because I didn't believe it. I actually had to look it up. Yes, you are reading that correct. That does say Clause Ford. And um, if you look right up here. Climb the ladder here. Come on, climb the ladder. Right here. Marketed through Ford dealers. This was Ford's attempt to make a combine after their personal combine failed. Um, they were trying to keep up with John Deere and everybody else, so they contacted Claus and had these made and shipped over here to the U.S. I had no clue this existed. But the salesman, he said, oh yeah, this is a very common thing in select locations. But he said, this one's kind of rare. This was the tester. It's got almost no hours on it. That's why he called me. Um, we gained a larger bin, a larger header, and, well, frankly, kind of something cool. Um, yeah. Alrighty then. Anyway. Uh, part of the other thing I lost here is we were 
working on our field, which we'll go by it and show you here. And we went ahead and cultivated our field. I mean, if I can find some bits and pieces that uh, translated through while it was on the charger, uh, I will include them. If I can't, then, um, yeah, this is all you're going to see. But that'll be later me, not current me, when I am going through and putting this all together for you. But we're going to go up here to the field that we harvested earlier for the neighbor. There's our nicely uh, cultivated field right there. But we're going to go up here and get his field done while we have everything hooked up. And uh, hopefully, and I do mean hopefully, everything comes out okay. I am kind of excited to get into the field with that Claws Harvester. Um, sorry, Ford Claws Harvester. Because... I just want to see it in action. I want to see how it compares, you know. Um, are we going to be surprised and happy, or are we going to be very disappointed here? I don't know yet. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, we are up here at the field. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this for you, and we'll see you here in a few moments. Done at last. Didn't take too long at all. I was expecting to actually take quite a bit longer. But it uh, looks like he's got quite a few stones out in his field here and there. That, uh, yeah, see, there they are. The, I'm sure at some point he's going to have to take care of them. Uh, I don't have any in my field, so I'm not too worried about it. But, yeah. I think that's going to be an issue he's going to have to deal with because I uh, definitely don't want to get one of those sucked into a machine or stuck between the drill, but uh, I guess it could be worse. Anyway, we will head back to the house. Oh, I did notice that the grass field over there is ready to be uh, cut. I don't know if that got saved in the original or not, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, it has, looks like it's going to turn sunny. We may go really quickly, uh, use the new John Deere and, uh, mow down that field. I think in the long run that would be a smart thing for me to do. Uh, yeah. I think it would be incredibly smart to do. So... I think that's what we will do. I haven't seen my neighbors over here to this side of me. Uh, at least not for a while. They haven't been in or out or uh, done any work. So I don't know what's going on there. 
but I'm sure it's all just normal. They seem to have rather large equipment and have their own thing going on, so that just could be what they what they do is they just show up when they need to. Anyway. This backed in here. Disconnected. Oh, I'm getting mud all over inside my tractor. I'm going to have to wash it out again. Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and park this right here. Just in case the weather decides to get a little weird on us. Okay. Into the deer. And I think we will just roll around this corner here. We'll have to go check on the animals here in a little bit. We're just going to set this down. Couldn't get the right thing to disconnect there. Wasn't a good deal. Okay. We should grab the mower. And we'll go lay this down and see uh, kind of what it looks like. Might be a little wet, but if the sun's going to be out for a few days, we should be okay. At least I think we'll be okay. Seems like this tractor is a little bit louder than our other one. Uh, it's kind of unusual to have such a loud tractor, but maybe they put a straight pipe on this thing and I don't even know it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, like I said, we'll get that mode down and uh, I'll see you when we get her done. Well, we're back at this. Uh, what a difference a tuning kit must make because this tractor does not run anything like the other one that we had. I mean, this thing is just hot to trot and uh, it flat out gets her done. There it goes. I mean, it just doesn't give up. This thing just flat out mows it down and goes. So, like I said, I don't know what the deal was with the other one that we had, but uh, I definitely like this one a lot better. But, alrighty, we will get back to the house, and uh, I think we're going to leave that dry overnight, and it is getting close to, that's actually past supper time. So I'm going to go home, eat some supper, uh, let that dry out, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.